Hi, first grade. We're going to go ahead and take a look at your reading work text, pages 38 and 38b. And these go along with our story we read yesterday. We read the second part of John's Creatures, which was called John's Paintings. Okay, so we'll first start by looking here at page 38. Directions say to circle the correct answer. So let's look at number one. What was in the lunch bucket? So you're going to circle which one was in the lunch bucket. Number two, what did John take to the hills? Circle the correct picture, the correct answer. And number three, where did John put the box of paintings? Under his bed or on a table? So you're just circling the correct answers. When we look at the back on page 38B. Okay, directions say, fill in the bubble beside the sentence that happened first, right? So we're thinking about what happened first. Again, if you need to go look back in your reading book, don't forget to do that. So the first choices we have here is John put the nest in the bucket or the finch left the nest. What happened first? Did he put the nest in the bucket or did the finch leave the nest? <clears throat> Next, John put a finch on paper. John painted a hummingbird. Again, we're looking for what happened first. Moving on. John got some watercolors and a brush, or John put some paintings under his bed. Again, what happened first? And the last one, rats got into John's paintings. John's paintings got better and better. Again, which happened first? Looking at the bottom of the page tells us to draw lines to match each picture to a phrase. You're going to look here at these pictures and then draw a line that matches the phrase. This one says on a branch, under a bed, or in a lunch bucket. You can draw a line to match the picture to a phrase.